हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर वन ऑन एक्सपोनेंशियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एक्सपोनेंशियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ए कंटिन्यूस रैंडम वेरिएबल सो फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टैंड व्हेन वी हैव टू यूज एक्सपोनेंशियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो फॉर दैट सपोज वी कंसिडर सम एग्जाम्पल सपोज वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन द Uh, we are familiar with this type of examples number of cars arriving at a service center in some interval of time in some time interval so for example suppose i have this time interval and suppose these are the cars arriving during this time interval so to find out the distribution of number of cars arriving at service center in some time interval uh, we are using poisson distribution so that we have discussed in the lectures of poisson probability distribution now we are uh, going to consider reverse of this that Uh, what will be the time suppose this is the first car which arrives in this time interval and we are interested in the time for arrival of this first car so this this is the time or we can say that waiting period or this is the waiting time for the arrival of first car so if we are interested in the random variable that waiting time until the first car arrives or waiting time until arrival of first car or first car arrives then here x is a continuous random variable because we are considering time the time can take any value any real number so this random variable capital x is a continuous random variable and to model this random variable or to find out probabilities related to this random variable we are using exponential distribution so exponential distribution is the waiting time until first event occurs similarly suppose we are interested in the a uh, time between arrival of second and third car then also we will use exponential distribution so in that case we are interested in the waiting time between second and uh, between arrival of second and third car so in general uh, if we are interested in the waiting time between successive events here events are uh, this first car arrives second car arrives third car arrives and so on so if we are interested in the time between successive events then we are using exponential distribution so that we will discuss later with the help of example that how to find out uh, probabilities using exponential distribution but this is the main idea that exponential distribution is used to find out waiting time until first event or waiting time between successive events so with this in mind we begin with this uh, lecture so first we have written that exponential distribution is concerned with the amount of time until some specific event occurs that is waiting time until the first event and these are some examples suppose we are interested in the amount of time until an earthquake occurs then this uh, uh, time has an exponential distribution uh, we have some other examples also suppose we are interested in the length of long distance business telephone calls then also this is an exponential random variable similarly the amount of time in months a car battery lasts so that is also exponential distribution similarly the amount of time in minutes you need to wait until bus arrives has also an exponential distribution 
so these are the uh, different situations in which we can apply exponential distribution so in general we will remember that exponential distribution is concerned with the amount of time or waiting time until some specific event occurs so in general exponential distribution is used to predict the amount of time or amount of waiting time until the next event so with this in mind first we uh, define what is exponential random variable or we define that uh, what is the probability density function of exponential distribution then we will decide its uh, cdf that is distribution function of exponential distribution so we start with this definition definition of exponential random variable so as we discussed exponential random variable is a continuous random variable so a continuous random variable denoted by capital x is said to be an exponential random variable if its probability density function is given by this function fx equal to lambda times e raised to minus lambda x if x is non negative otherwise zero so if x is negative density function has value zero and this is for some parameter lambda which is positive uh, we can also say that x with x is exponentially distributed with parameter lambda so we will remember this uh, density function of exponential random variable it is easy to remember we are considering lambda times e raised to minus lambda x for non negative values of x and if x is negative it is zero so using this uh, density function we can decide the cumulative distribution function and we are familiar with the definition of cumulative distribution function it is given by fx equal to probability that capital x is less than or equal to x and uh, if we use another variable say a because x is already used here then we know that this is the definition of cdf capital f of a equal to probability that capital x is less than or equal to a and to find out this probability we have to integrate pdf from minus infinity to a where this a is any real number now here our pdf is different for non negative values and negative values so here also we will consider two cases if a is greater than or equal to 0 and if a is negative so now we try to find out cdf of exponential random variable so for that we write first that we know that probability density function of exponential random variable x is given by f x equal to lambda times e raised to minus lambda x if x is non negative and zero if x is negative now to find out cdf we consider two cases first case we consider that value of a is say negative so by definition of cdf f of a is nothing but probability that capital x is less than or equal to a and uh, this is nothing but integral from minus infinity to a of probability density function so here limits of x are from minus infinity to a that is x is less than a and a is negative so therefore x is also negative and if x is negative value of cdf is 0 so here we can write fx equal to 0 because x is negative in this interval minus infinity to a okay because of this reason and integral of 0 is 0 okay, so if a is negative uh, we obtain that cdf has value 0 if 
a is negative now we consider second case suppose a is positive then in this case also we start with the definition f of a is probability that capital x is less than or equal to a that is integral from minus infinity to a fx dx now here a is positive so we are somewhere here now this is equal to uh, we can rewrite this as minus infinity to 0 fx dx plus 0 to a fx dx okay, because if x is negative value of fx is 0 and if x is positive value of fx is non-negative now in minus infinity to 0 x is 0 so here we consider fx equal to 0 so this is minus infinity to 0 fx equal to 0 now in 0 to a x is positive therefore we can write fx equal to lambda into e raised to minus lambda x because fx has value lambda into e raised to minus lambda x if x is non-negative so this first integral has value 0 and in second integral lambda is constant integral of e raised to minus lambda x is e raised to minus lambda x into coefficient of x which is minus lambda and limits are from 0 to a so this is equal to we can cancel out this uh, lambda it is positive so we can cancel out it and we have minus e raised to minus lambda x integral from 0 to a so first we put x equal to a we have minus e raised to minus lambda a and negative sign and uh, negative sign for lower limit upper limit minus lower limit and minus x equal to 0 that is e raised to 0 which is 1 so this is minus e raised to minus lambda a negative negative positive and e raised to 0 is 1 so therefore value of cdf if a is non-negative is 1 minus e raised to minus lambda a if a is non-negative and if a is negative cdf has value 0 so therefore the cdf of x is if we combine both the cases f of a equal to here we consider a is non-negative a is negative if a is negative it is 0 and if a is non-negative it is 1 minus e raised to minus lambda times a and uh, if we are interested in the variable x uh, we can replace this dummy variable a by x so we can write in terms of f x fx equal to 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x if x is non-negative and 0 if x is negative so this is the cumulative distribution function of exponential random variable ok so this fx is nothing but probability that waiting time until first event is less than or equal to x so in this uh, lecture uh, we have discussed when we can use exponential distribution and we have discussed what is the definition of exponential random variable and uh, we have derived cdf of ra exponential random variable so we will remember this uh, definitions that pdf of exponential random variable is given by lambda times e raised to minus lambda x if x is non-negative and 0 if x is negative and cdf that is distribution function is given by 1 minus e raised to minus lambda x if x is non-negative and 0 if x is negative 
so this both the definitions are useful in calculating probabilities using exponential distribution so in upcoming lectures we are going to discuss problems related to exponential distribution with these two functions in our mind this is the probability density function of exponential random variable and this is cumulative distribution function of exponential random variable so this is all about this session i hope you like it thank you very much